Uh, you just simply say, mm, okay, okay, really, <laughs> okay. You see how that quickly annoys people. But anyway, uh, listen, it's about a month to go right now in the academic uh, year at universities will start. So new matriculants have now got to acquire all kinds of new stationaries and equipment. Uh, one of the most important being a laptop. How do you choose the right kind of laptop for you while you go, well, when you go to university? And so we've got Titi, my brother here, to come and talk to us, our tech designer and game uh, designer as well. Uh, how are you doing, bro? I'm good, good, I'm good. On this Friday, what's up? Yeah. Ah, kren, kren, bro. <laughs> so, uh, I remember when I went to varsity, yeah. it wasn't really that much, like it wasn't that popular to get a laptop at the time, yeah, like, yeah. because there were computer labs there. Yeah, but yeah. in this day and age, modern convenience is, is the ultimate thing. Yeah, so how yeah. important would you say it is to get a laptop? It's really important. I think uh, what's this, a lot of South African universities are actually insisting that a lot of the first years come in with either a tablet or a laptop. Because yeah. A lot of the coursework is now put on online, online. and it's easier to mark and, and a lot of the university admin as well is yeah. also is also like uh, it, the process is much easier if it's online like mm -hmm. registering, uh, paying for your school fees yes. and all that stuff it requires internet and, and some kind of uh, electronic device. And of course, students live a very busy lifestyle these yeah. days. Some of them work jobs, two jobs in yeah, order to yeah, supplement yeah. their, you know, their funds for, for the month. So yeah. you, you need to have something that you can carry with yeah, you, yeah, that yeah. you can access the coursework, like you yeah. say. So what are some of the most important things to keep in mind when you are buying your laptop? Then? Well, a laptop is supposed to be portable. So get something that's the perfect Number size. One. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, you don't want to be that guy that's carrying the biggest laptop ever. <laughs> excuse me. Like, <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> you don't want to be that guy. And, and obviously, you need, to, you need something that's about uh, 11 inches to, like, 14 inches of uh, the screen size, the okay. display. So, and uh, you need something that has the perfect OS for whatever you're doing. So you have to do a lot of research okay. in terms of what coursework, what the university requires, and stuff like that. And, and, and you also have to ensure that it has eight hours or more battery life. Okay. I mean, you have to, that's, that, that's like really important. You don't, you don't want to be that guy that always wants to sit next to the plug. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so size does count and how long, of course, the battery life yeah, lasts yeah, yeah. for. Okay, yeah. and of course, like, like you say now, the OS, because uh, uh, an architectural student won't have the same laptop as exactly, uh, yeah. an accounting student. Yeah, yeah. So you need, you need to like find out about those things before you actually buy one and yeah. go to the... To the to the store. Yeah. yeah, and what about what about the more technical things that are very easy uh, to miss out on that students need to look out for? Yeah, well, buying a laptop is, is quite interesting because uh, there's always this battle between uh, processor speed and, and 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 hard drive space. Okay. Right? So which is like it's very tempting to buy something that has like a lot of hard drive space, mm -hmm. but often a lot of hard drive space has a uh, low processor, and that's. That's really dangerous because you could save all these things and then it doesn't have the power to run all that stuff on the laptop. And that so, can be very frustrating. Yeah. So I mean, especially if you have like, a, if you have like, a price, price, uh, if you have price, uh, if if like money is an issue. Yes. You yes. you need to like choose something that has a decent processor and like always go for processor. Like go for like a i3 processor or something. But if you can afford one. Always go for i7 or i5. That's, okay. That's, that's a perfect process. All right, fantastic yeah. stuff. Well, there you have some of the best advice that you can uh, take on board, especially when you're considering buying yourself your very first laptop, which I think might be very exciting for a lot of <laughs> yeah, first yeah. years right now going into varsity. All right, thank you very much to Titi once again. Have yourself a lucky weekend, my brother. Yeah, you too, man. Eight tada, eight tada. All right, let's continue with this Friday edition of your Feel Good Breakfast. Yeah.